Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this simply supported beam. But before going to analyze this beam, I would like to request you guys that please subscribe to my new channel. I have given the link in the description. So now to analyze this simply supported beam and to find out the support reaction at these two points, which is A point and B point, the length of the total the total length of the beam is 4 meter, 4 meter plus 2 meter, so the total length is 6 meter and there is a concentrated or pointed load of magnitude 5 kN acting at a distance of 4 meter from the left end and 2 meter from the right end. So to find out the support reactions, first we should know that A point here is a, there is a hinge support provided, so it means it can take the vertical reaction RA and also it can take the horizontal reaction RAX it can also resist the horizontal forces but hence there is no horizontal force acting on this beam so we can directly say that this component of the A the horizontal reaction of the A support will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam is there is only vertical load acting on this beam. The other is a roll support here. The property of the roll support is that it can only resist the vertical load. So we have only one vertical reaction RB. So we have to find out the two reactions RA unknown and RB unknown. So for this we have three equilibrium equation that we can use to find out our support reaction. These are summation of horizontal forces equal to zero, the summation of vertical forces equal to zero, and summation of moment equal to zero. So we can use these three equations in order to find out our support reaction. Since we cannot use this equation because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam, so we don't need to use this equation. Also, the summation of vertical forces equal to zero, we can also use not use this equation because there are two unknowns. R A and R B. This equation can be only used when there is only one unknown. Here only one unknown. So now we are only left with this equation. So here when we have two unknowns, R A and R B are two unknowns. So we can use this equation here. So we, we will use this equation by taking the summation of moment at any point equal to zero. So let's suppose summation of moment at point A equal to zero at this point. And let's assume that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So the first load that creates the moment is the 5 kN acting downward. So this load about point A, it is acting in the clockwise direction about point A. So it will be positive here. So it is 5 kN multiply with the moment arm because the moment is equal to the force multiplied with the moment arm. So force is 5 kN here, the moment arm is here from this point up to the point where you, where you want to find out the moment, so it is 4 meter. This is the moment arm R, so R is 4 meter here. So now the other force that creates the moment about point A is RB. So this force will create the moment about point A in the anti-clockwise direction, so it will be taken as negative. So minus RB, multiplying it with the moment arm. So moment arm will be the distance from this B point up to A point, which is 2 meter plus 4 meter. So it will be total equal to 6 meter. Summation of all the moment at point A equal to 0. This load cannot produce any moment because it is going out through point A. So all the forces it creates a moment about point equal point a equal to zero. So now if I shift this wheel into the right side, so if we shift this wheel into the right side, so it will be positive, so it will be 20 equal to 6 Rb. Or we can say Rb is equal to 20 divided by 6, or simply we can say 3.333 kilonewton. So Rb comes out to be 3.33 kilonewton. This is our support RP. Now we know that we can use now this equation, the summation of vertical forces equal to zero, 
because it is only used when there is only one unknown. So now we have only one unknown that is Ra. Rb is known to us. So now we will use this equation. Let's suppose summation of vertical force is equal to zero. Upward forces are taken as positive and downward forces are taken as negative. This is just our sign assumption again here. Now, so the upward forces are are A and are B. These are acting upward. So they are positive and this 5 kN is acting downward so it is taken as negative. RB downward forces are taken as negative. So minus 5 equal to 0. Summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0. So RA equal to 5 if you move into the right side. So 5 minus RB 5 minus RB we know that is 3.33 kN. So if we subtract 5 minus 3.33 we got 1.67 or 1.66 kN. So here RA comes out to be 1.666 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reactions. If you have any unknowns you can easily find out any support reactions if you use the simple logic by using these three equilibrium equation. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos.